Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Trizus Max with Two Lives Gaming. We're busy playing Airport Simulator Tycoon First Class. Alright, so our new service buildings are up and going. I don't know if I like that. Do I want it more uniform? Maybe I want to change this one. I will make it uniform, like that. All right. So guys, um, this is all about flight planning. Let's call this flight planning part two. Um, if you're interested in this sort of subject, please like and subscribe. We're busy experimenting and finding out what's the best way of doing this thing. So if we go into my planning now, you'll see that in my previous video, I quickly charted a flight there and uh, we started changing my timeline just a little bit here uh, what we are doing is we'll start off on the hour run our way down 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes and hopefully flights don't end up ending uh, up on the tarmac at the same time because that's that's a bit of a problem all right so I think the best thing we should do is, is we should probably start with the very next day. See if there is some places here that we can fix it. I, I've got some spots that have been fixed. Let's see if we've got some PM flights. No PM flights. How about uh, if I move it, I might get in some AM flights. Okay, let's go plan it before they land. Or one to land. Alright, so we're moving all of them just 10 minutes over. It's going to help our flight planning in the long run. Because you have a problem of lots of saturation, lots of people ending up on the apron at the same time and that's a problem all right and i think we've got another one you know what let's reset and refresh all these nice contracts go over see what we can use here pms i still have am flights we can put in No, not that one. So AM flights to let's plan them. All right. That one was nine forty, so this one is nine fifty. All right. Well, that's going to be closed. Uh, PM flights. We can book a few PM flights quickly. There's a PM, take that one, We've got space for a third one, take that, plan that. Right, so, oh my, we've got another AM flight, all right, I'll plot this one in the air. Right, I think I clicked the wrong one. Sometimes if that happens, it's a bad thing. Right, so this is our timeline now. Let's see if we can fit in more on the hour. One, one ten. So that one should be on 20. So this one should be 30, yes. And then we've got one there. And this one should be 50 again. Okay. So one of these seem to be a charter flight. And let's plot them in here as well. On the time. One in here. 10 minutes past. Oh, no, that one didn't go in. 
Alright, so you're like, yeah, Trizus, but you're, you're missing out on a lot of flights here. Okay, but the thing is, is if, if you have your services maybe up to a certain standard where you can handle six, I mean, six rams at the same time, you're going to need another, a lot of vehicles. Um, they're probably going to have to be very high leveled. So I think the flight planning is going to be something that's going to save your day. So you might lose out on all these flights down there. But in the end, you're not going to lose your contracts. That's a problem that you have. If you sign something, you only get like 16 grand for that signing up until the end of all those flights. And if something goes wrong and you have to pay that back, it cost you the total amount that you would have made. So, um, let me know down in the comments, what is your solution to the flight planning to make sure that you don't like over plan uh, or what do you do to improve conditions? This one's going to be on 30. What do you do to improve conditions so that you don't have these flights overlapping each other? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to see if you've got any other questions. I like answering questions. Um, this one should hopefully answer a question. I did see how it worked previously. And I did go back and see what it would look like if we planned all the flights at the same time. <sighs> it didn't turn out too great. Right, so we got another charter flight here. Got these prosperity lines back. Let's hope they don't cancel on us again. If they do, I'm just going to switch them off again. We'll give them some way in here. Yeah? And this one should be on the 50. No. Is that going to be with that far down? This one should be on 10. Oh, there we go. Started them off wrong. Don't want to lose too much at the end. So that would be 20 then. This one should be on 30. Yes. On the hour. Did I put this on 10 again? <laughs> oh, all right. I see what I did there. The reason for that was because this airline over here can't be moved. All right. So let me fix that. I'll be right back. This AM flight can be filled. Right, let's see, there should be another one open as well. That wouldn't be, this one is going to be on 20 then. Yeah, not anymore. I think mostly AN flights. Yes, let's open them up.
clients. Well, slowly but surely, there's going to be gaps forming eventually. So we've got like here, yeah, we've got gaps that's going to open up. But I'll just continue seeing what we've got. We'll plot them down and put them in. Luckily, we've got a line running, so these should help us get through. We signed another one here with six. See ya. Okay, let's get to the Wednesday. Should be some places open here. Yeah? Right. See what else is left here. We've got five PM slots. Let's see if we can fit in five. We'll go for three for now. That one's a bit cheap. Our PM flights are limited. So we want the most money. Right, so that's going to be 10. That's going to be 20. So this one should be on 30. Let's see. Um, this one is going to be 40. Come on. Right, and then this one is going to be 50. Right. Even though we can't see some of the flights, it's definitely being filled up. Right, do we have anything left? Got 2 p.m. flights. Um... Tuesday, pretty full. Wednesday, don't think we're gonna fit in another flight here. There's a beam slot. Right, should have space for one more. Well, that all flight is actually looking a lot more attractive. Let's see. On the Tuesday, I think we can do, yeah. Thursday, maybe we'll put one right in there. Do have some spots open. This one we can already put it at ten. Oh, I think that one dropped on twenty. We 
can move this one. Odd. There we go. So this one should be at 10. There. Slightest of difference. It's going to make a big difference in the end. So we do have some spots open. But guys, our flight planning should look a lot better from here on in. We started it up up right before the timeline started Let's see if that has gone through all the way all right so we're gonna start seeing gaps open up as the gaps open up we'll just make sure that we plot it down in the correct time and wow <laughs> look at the traffic it's quite busy <laughs> what can we say all right, everybody, I want to show you something else here. Daily missions. We've got a long day ahead of us. So we place the flight at 1 p.m. Time is now right before 1 p.m. Going to have that flight come in and we've completed that mission. So we'll collect it. <coughs> I want to thank you very much for joining us. Please do join us the next time. And uh, this concludes part two of flight planning. Stratus Max signing out. Bye bye.